Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the new generators that have just been added into Rust. So let's get straight into it. So a generator is going to want to be placed down on a flat surface, sort of like a foundation. You want to place it down, let's say my battery is here. And the connections for the battery are on this side. So if I was placing it down and there was a wall here, you would want to make sure there's enough space to access these pots. Because the amount of times that I've placed a battery down and couldn't access the, the outputs and the inputs is so annoying. Right, so I'm going to place my generator over here. And your generator, also, it's going to be like the battery that I said. Don't place it too near a wall because your outputs and your inputs and all that sort of stuff are not going to be on one of the like not going to be on the side of the wall. You can always rotate it, but you know, just something to remember about. Right, the generator has three outputs. So you've got your main power output. So when the generator is turned on, this is going to be the one that will be connected up to the battery. I'll do that right now. So it goes from the output of the of the generator to the input of the battery. Because the power is coming out of the generator, going through the wire to the battery. And then the output of the battery is going to be going I'll show you that at the end. It's going to be going into any electricals that you're plugging into. Right, so the generator is going to use low grade fuel. So you open it up and you put your low grade fuel in there and you side up. And then this is now going to be all of the generators put out 40 units of charge. So that'll be going through the wire and into the input of the battery. There you go, see? 40. Now, as I was saying before, the generators have three outputs. Or oh, these two are inputs, I suppose. So you've got your power output. Then you've got your force stop. So let's say I could put a switch here. Or let's say I had a wall. I could put a switch on that wall. And then when I want the generator to turn off, I can flick that switch. And then it would turn off. And then if I want it to turn back on, then force start. So you flick the switch and then it starts back up. Obviously if there's no fuel it won't start. But you know it's a handy thing to have. But you could always just turn it off by just you know just pressing on it. So you could also have multiple generators. Like that. So then I would need to have a root combiner. I would put one of those here. Or on a wall, you can have it on a wall if you want. It doesn't really matter. So now I can take the power output of this one. And then put it into there. And then the power output of this one. And also put it into there and then you'll have one output on the other side show it from there to there and then into the output and then I'll put fuel in this generator so now if I start both those generators up so they're both turned on each of them are putting out 40 units of charge and they'll go into here and it will come out as 80 and it will go into the battery as 80 right so now I'm going to show you how to take power from the output actually so I'm going to have a switch in my circuit so then when I take the power out I can plug it into the switch so you put the power from the battery into the electrical input of the uh, switch. If you're using a switch you don't have to. And then you have, let's say your light over there, for example. You would take 
you will take the output of the switch and plug that into the power input on your light so now the power from the generator is coming through there charging the battery and then you can see my battery has 4 minutes and 26 seconds of charge on so that will be going twice as fast as what it would with one generator obviously because I've got two generators so then the power comes from the output down there into the input of the switch which passes through to the output of the switch which at the moment doesn't put out any power because the switch is turned off and my lights turned off if I turn the switch on then there will be 99 units coming out of there and my lights turned off but what you could also do is if you don't want a switch or you don't have a switch you could just take the power out straight out of the battery and just plug it straight into the light and it works fine so thank you for watching my tutorial I hope it helped you out uh, please subscribe if you want to see any more of us content and comment if you want me to explain how to use root combiners in more in depth or any other electricals because auto turrets, if you follow the updates, auto turrets need electricity now, which a system like this will be really handy. And you could use heartbeat sensors, so when the heartbeat sensor senses someone in the room, and I think you can authorize on them, so if it senses someone that isn't authorized, then it will start the generator, and then it can put power directly into the auto turret, so then it can kill them obviously. If you want me to explain that sort of stuff, then just comment in the comment section. And um, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.